This is Leo. Once again, we're continuing in the solar village. And here is an example of a very simple, very primitive desalination facility that can be used to remove salt from like ocean water or sea water and also to clean the dirty water. And this is completely free except for, you know, the cost of the actual uh, equipment. So basically what you have inside is black surface. You pour salt water inside and you have this glass dome, this glass pyramid. So what happens, the solar heat evaporates the water, the water goes up and it ends up on this glass and then it drips down, comes here and is, in, is collected here. So now you can drink that water, it's pure. And basically this, uh, it's a little bit more than a square meter, but you can get about 10 liters of pure water from this thing per day, 10 liters from this here. So 10 liters is basically enough for one person for, for one day. Uh, so this is a very clean and efficient way, but the problem with it, it uses a lot of space to create a lot of water, which can affect the environment. So that's always the, you know, the argument for building these massive facilities of evaporating and cleaning the water this way. Now, the, a lot of, uh, water desalination actually uses energy, fossil fuels, and it can produce a lot more water in a much smaller space. So that's what's being done in Israel. Actually, now Israel produces 60% of its fresh water from salt, from uh, seawater, but it uses a lot of energy. <clears throat> and this is completely energy free because it uses solar heat to produce water. And on small scale, I think this is the best from the environmental perspective, but once again, if you need a lot of fresh water, you would use a lot of space. And actually, this is very cheap to build, but once again, if you use a lot of space, it can affect the environment. So, all right, this was Leo, and I'll continue with more videos about solar and environmental and ecological projects. See ya.